Hey everybody, it's Nick. In this video, I'm excited to share with you what I think are the best mobile production apps for iOS and Android. I've broken these down into three categories. DAWs, so fully fledged digital audio workstations, instruments and effects, and the third category, utilities. These are not necessarily instruments you can play or effects you can sound design your audio, but more uh, tools that will definitely help you in your production. For the digital audio workstations, the first one I want to highlight is Beatmaker 3. I love the workflow of this. This features an MPC style workflow. However, it also has a classic timeline based editor as well as a scene mode for live remixing and performing. It also works with Ableton Link so you can lock tempos with Ableton. That's pretty awesome. I really can't stress how much I like the pad based workflow and I'm excited to kind of uh, try more finger drumming on it with this Atom controller. <laughs> Next is Cubasis 3, and this is from the developers that brought us Cubase. This is going to be a really great mobile DAW for recording. It has a really comprehensive mixing console, as well as some great native plugins, including a multi-band compressor and a loudness maximizer. Next is GarageBand. I couldn't forget this one. This is only for iOS, unfortunately, but it is free. So if you do have an iPad, I would definitely recommend checking it out. There's some nice realistic instruments included right away, and there's some fun drumming and performative aspects to it that make it a unique DAW. Lastly, we have FL Mobile, which is also one of my favorites on this list. If you're an FL user already, this will definitely be a great choice. I feel like the piano roll and automation in FL Mobile is really intuitive, as well as the effects processing, how it's handled on the right-hand side. It's really nice. Here's an idea I came up with working between my phone and my iPad. Uh, FL allows you to send projects back and forth really easily. And keep in mind that the Splice app spoiler alert, it is on this list, allows you to download sounds now locally to your device. So you can use your splice sounds in all of these digital audio workstations, really I think making them a lot more powerful when you can use the splice library to power these DAWs. <laughs> Cool, moving on to instruments and effects. I really wanna highlight that you can perform with these live. So you can use your iPad or your mobile device as an instrument live, or you can actually use it as like an instrument when recording into your DAW. If you're an iPad user, I would definitely recommend investing in two things, a lightning to USB adapter, so you can hook up your MIDI controllers to your iPad, and second, an eighth inch to stereo quarter inch cable, so you could record into your audio interface. So the first two instruments I want to highlight are the Animoog and the Model D from Moog Music. And this is their first professional polyphonic synthesizer designed exclusively for the iPad. And the engine allows you to dynamically like move through this XY space of unique timbres. And it really unlocks a lot of sound design capabilities very quickly. <laughs> Model D is an emulation of the historic Mini Moog Model D synthesizer introduced in the 1970s. It has some beautiful presets and sounds very warm and really true to the analog spirit.
Next, we have Synthmaster 1, which is one of my favorites for sound design. It contains 650 presets, and it is ma modeled after the desktop version, Synthmaster 1. It also has Ableton Link and InterApp Audio and Audio Bus. <laughs> Cool, so the next app is actually a bundle of apps from FabFilter. This is a bundle of their mixing and mastering apps, and you can use these in the digital audio workstations we talked about. This really, in my opinion, levels up the polish you can apply to a mobile produced track. I even think five years ago, you could scoff at the idea of, a, of starting and finishing a track on a mobile device. However, these apps are getting way more capable every year. Cool, so the last category of apps that I think you should know about are what I consider utility apps. So the first one is Splice. With the Splice mobile app, you can browse, search, and filter through our library, download sounds locally to your device now, and use them on any of these mobile apps. It's also a good workflow to use it at your home studio, using it to browse sounds. And I know we're hardly traveling, if at all, these days, uh, but it is nice when you're on the go or if you want to go into a different room, like the living room. The next app I want to call out is Suggester. It is a tool that assists in the creation of songs and chord progressions. It'll help you find chords, and especially if you don't know much about music theory, it can help you tremendously. You can also export the MIDI from the app I love exporting it directly to my Dropbox and having it loaded for my Ableton. And you can also export it to be used in your mobile app. And the last utility app I would recommend looking into is AudioBus 3. This is a very powerful app that allows you to route audio between your music apps. This allows more sound design possibilities and allows a way more complex and mature workflow, I think, when you're making music on your mobile device. Cool, so those were some of my favorite mobile production apps. There are a lot I'm missing. I know there are a lot out there that I didn't bring up in this video. Please let us know in the comments what are your favorite ones so that we can continue this knowledge in our comment section. If you like the video, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're releasing videos weekly. As always, I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day. Stay positive, stay inspired. I'll see everyone next time. Later, y'all.